Howdy, this is Ed Chu from Rod Iron Leather and Effects. I'm here to do a toner transfer demo for PCB etching. I use this method for my prototype PCBs to test out my designs before I send them into a manufacturer to get them machined. This is the impatient person's method. What you're going to need is print out your design. This is just one I messed up. This is just going to be a throw away on a piece of scrap here just to demo for you but what I print onto is the backing paper of these internet shipping labels these are two labels per page you can probably get one label per page it'd be better because it wouldn't have a little line in the middle of it anyway these are nine bucks on Amazon for a hundred sheets um, they work perfect nothing else I've tried works as good or even close piece of copper clad print your design off on that paper um, use the use a thick paper a thick glossy paper setting on your printer if you've got um, options like that I use a Samsung printer you can see it prints really nicely and sharp and crisp on there I've got a brother laser printer an older one and it, it ghosts a lot of that toner comes down so um, a brother printers are kind of known for not being the greatest for toner transfer especially onto the slick paper. Uh, key ingredients here, you need a can of white lacquer. You could probably use other colors, but white is good. Uh, got some 3% hydrogen peroxide, some 31% muriatic acid, that's our etching solution. Don't worry about that right now, we don't need that. You need some denatured alcohol or some rubbing alcohol. Um, I don't know if rubbing alcohol works, I know denatured alcohol does work. And I've got a half gallon of it. Uh, acetone you need some acetone if you mess up you need a rag for your acetone and a rag for your denatured alcohol do not mix the two or you will rue the day uh, I think that's it uh, you need some water in a little bowl I use dirty water clean water will probably work too coca-cola that's just product placement in case they need to endorse me or something okay here's what we're gonna do We've got our design. Get it oriented however you want. This design doesn't fully fit on this little piece of scrap, so it doesn't really matter. Um, the design is messed up anyway. Get your lacquer. Shake it up good. Okay, now what we want to do is spray a thin layer of lacquer onto directly onto the copper clad material. Now, you want to let this dry about 30, 40 seconds. I blow on it to speed it up a little bit. Don't touch it. You want it to be shiny, a little bit shiny but not wet. Um, take your design and you're going to lay it on there. Once you've laid it on there, do not move it. So get it lined up just how you want it. Lay it on there. Hold it with one hand. Rub over all the toner with the other. Now, the reason I say do not move it, as soon as that toner touches the lacquer, it's going to start to transfer. Not fully, but part of it will transfer, and if you move it, you will smear the design and ruin that uh, that go round it won't ruin your PCB because all you got to do is wet down your acetone rag, wipe it off, and start again. The reason this works, the way we're going to do it here, is because the toner will transfer onto the lacquer really solidly. It makes a nice transfer, um, and uh, then we'll go back and wipe off the lacquer with some alcohol. The toner, the printer toner, is not soluble in alcohol. So when we use the alcohol, it will only dissolve the lacquer in the in the areas where the lacquer is exposed and leave it just how we want it for our etch. Okay, now you need to do that a little bit more fully. You can see this piece didn't fit here. But you need to rub it really good. And what would happen if we did this at the perfect timing was this would just lift off here and leave all the toner on there. And you can see it's sticking a little bit and you can see there's a little bit of toner on there. 
if you keep it lined up you can lay it right back down here's what we want to do put it back down rub over it a little bit more sorry I know this is shaking the camera okay now we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it in our bowl of dirty water just to get the paper wet nice and wet um, the goal here is to make the paper let go of the toner but you don't want the paper to be so wet that it leaves part of itself on top of the toner so let's see what, if it's sticky we just get it a little bit wetter you can see that's coming off real nice right there now if it starts to pull just get it a little bit get a little bit more water on there don't get too impatient at this point you know you're impatient that's why you're using this method because you hate the other method where you have to use the clothes iron and wait for 15 or 20 minutes okay so we've got it almost all there's just this middle part that's a little bit get some water under there I probably got this a little too wet now now this is gonna have a little bit of paper residue on it and that's gonna be a little bit problematic but we will deal with that later I just want to show you the the main step in the process here okay there we go there's your transfer you can see it's it's really good there's just a little bit of paper residue right here which will rub off if you're careful but I don't recommend rubbing that very much because it's easy to rub off toner at this point in the process now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our acid alcohol alcohol not acetone we're gonna get our alcohol rag we're gonna wet it down good this is just a, a, a towel I'm just drying the water off here okay get your alcohol rag make sure it's not your acetone rag get rags that look very different so you can not mistake the acetone rag because the acetone will ruin this alcohol rag and just very lightly buff over the circuit board and what you're going to do is that alcohol is going to it's going to dissolve the lacquer that's exposed and it's going to leave the toner alone I'm not going to and just if it's if it's got a little bit of difficult spots use more alcohol don't use more pressure more pressure will rub your toner off so I'm just going to do most of this and leave the couple sticky spots to finish up later if you do get some paper residue on there and it doesn't roll off real easy just wait for it to dry completely and then sometimes you can just peel it right off there okay you'll see now we've got almost all of this there's a little bit of lacquer left on there but I'm not gonna do the whole thing at this moment to just keep the video a little shorter but you can see that's a really nice toner transfer that'd be that'll do real nice in the etch now if you get a spot I'll show you real quick where you just can't get the lacquer out of it and you're afraid you're gonna mess up your traces Get just a regular ink pen and go in there. I'll show you. Let's see. See this part right here? This is filled with lacquer. And just go in there right beside that trace and you can just gently scrape it off with your ink pen. And you can see right here is where I did that. You can see it's full of ink now, but the great thing is the ink is soluble in alcohol we wipe it off and right there is where that was all white you can see it's clear now that's it it's ready to etch well it would be ready to etch if I went ahead and cleaned off all the lacquer um, a little more thoroughly but uh, that's it if you got any questions let me know uh, shoot me a message at uh, wrought iron leather and effects on Facebook or uh, right here on this YouTube video that's about it. Uh, oh, pro tip for the day. <clears throat> this kind of muriatic acid 
clean strip green does not work at all for etching. It's terrible. It takes like six hours to etch a board. Don't use that stuff. Use the good Transchem. You'll know it's the right stuff because when you open it up, a little bit of smoke comes out of it usually. It's not smoke, it's toxic vapor, but whatever. That's it. Thanks.